What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, DC to Cool, back again for another video. Today's topic is Injustice 2 DLC. Now, as most of us know, if you don't know, but most of us know, Sub-Zero for Mortal Kombat, the Mortal Kombat lore universe series, whatever you want to call it, is featured, or will be featured, I believe, next month uh, in DLC. Um, the second character to be dropped officially for Justice 2 DLC in July. And me personally, this has been bothering me for a while now, so I figured I'd just go ahead and make a video about it because I've been arguing slash debating with some fool on YouTube comments. You know how the YouTube community can be sometimes. Uh, trying to justify this decision, you know. He wants to tell me things like, well, he's popular, people ask for him, you know. Uh, Scorpion was in the first game. Like, that's an excuse. Scorpion shouldn't have been in the first game at all, either. That was a wasted spot for a character from DC who could have been in the game. And this is worse because, yeah, so Zero coming to this game, and it's not like you get a chance to pay for, okay, I'm going to pay for, you know, Starfire, Red Hood, and this character. Next. No. You have to buy the season pass. You have to get all of them at once, or you don't get anybody at all. You can't individually select your characters, and they know that. You know, if you look at the silhouettes here, you know, it looks like we got Raiden coming as well on the, on the far right there. That is clearly Raiden. Unless they're trolling us, everyone is, is someone of a troll, then that is clearly Raiden right there in the silhouettes. Um, and on the left-hand side, that is clearly Black Mana. Again, DC character, fresh, new, first game, in-game playable, fine. Um, the other characters, I'm not sure who they are. On Next to Raiden, people are, are speculating that's Shazam. Um, which my thing is, why would you take him out the first, you know, take him out of the game, if he's in the first game, and put him back in his DLC? That's bullshit. That's who that is. Uh, Spawn has also been thrown around as a character. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure who the rest of these characters are. Um, there's only one, maybe one more female. Um, the rest are men, I'm assuming, by the way the silhouettes look. But, how you gonna give me Raiden? Assuming this is actually who it is, and not have static shock in the game. You know, the actual electric, you know, Lightning character people ask for. You can't tell me this game, Static Shock got outvoted for Raiden. I'm sorry, I don't buy that at all. You can't tell me Sub Zero got, you know, voted higher than Beast Boy, higher than, you know, Steel, higher than, you know, uh, Captain Adam. You no, know, other characters from the, you know, the DC lore who are very popular, who've never had a game ever. I mean, Sub Zero's not been in how many games now? At least 10, 12? If you count some of the spinoff games and stuff, I mean, come on, man. Why do I have to have Sub Zero and Justice 2? Who asked for this character? I know I sure didn't. You know, it's just absolutely ridiculous that we have this character in the DC Universe. Let's go ahead and take it further. Marco Neller. He's a uh, designer and illustrator for the Justice Game series for NetherRealm. This man came out on his own personal Instagram, and he came out and said, Quote, so sad about this one. He was all clean up and ready to go. But unfortunately, Static didn't make the cut for a Justice 2. Damn, I had him all worked out too. Oh well, enjoy. You know, you don't see the problem here? So you're cutting a character like Static Shock who had his own series. This I would look to if he was in the game. This is, the concept looks great. So you're cutting a character who would have been in the game, who's from a DC Universe, who's popular, had his own TV series, was featured, you know, a couple years ago in uh, Young Justice, and the Young Justice Season 3 is coming out. But you're going to tell me I can Sub-Zero over Static. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's ridiculous. If you want to do this, make a more Kombat DC Universe 2. Make a good game, not a half ass one like you did the last time. Do that instead of putting more Kombat characters in the game. But that's it for me, man. That's my rant. Tell me what you guys think about this. Until next video, catch you guys later. Peace.